come with me, there's no thorns. All right, where are you going? Oh, he's made a good track up there. Why did you go up the big track? Ah! Go! go. Damage. Okay, Charlie, this time we have to go there and back, okay? Take the next left onto Macclesfield Road. So, got up bright and early this morning. The ring of steel in uh, Victoria is down. So, Victorians can now travel wherever they want to go. Continue on We've come back to, um, come back to my mum's place a week before we head off on our big trip and today we are going on a four-wheel driving course um, I think both of us are pretty good at four-wheel driving already but if you do this course you get 10% off your insurance um, so it pays for itself after a bit over a year um, so yeah we're gonna be uh, at the back of uh, Yarra Junction um, and yeah, it's a whole day course, so we'll let you know how it goes. So this is Tarn's pretty much terrified about the, it doesn't give you justice how steep this is, but um, here we go, it's gonna be awesome. You can do it, Tarn! That was some awesome Tarns driving. No, you can rely on the park brake. No, I can't. It rolls backwards if it's on the park brake. Oh, there you go. That was some good quality Tarns driving, that one. Very impressive. We didn't roll over. She had a wheel in the air. That's how we rolled. Stop the tie, hard. Yep. Right. There you go. Doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look that bad. What's the clenchometer say? What's the clenchometer say? I wouldn't trust it. So, after two very long years of planning, a pandemic, uh, not having a house to live at, living in our parents' place during the pandemic, out of the caravan. We are finally leaving, aren't we? Mm -hmm. today. We're leaving today. today. That's right. Today. In a in a few hours. So I'd like to stay. I'd like to say we're starting our our holiday, um, but we've gone past that, and we're saying we're starting our new lifestyle. <laughs> so. It's pretty exciting. Um, we're just organising the last bits and bobs of the van. We've got, we're ready for the zombie apocalypse because we've got about, I don't know, half a tonne of food in the van. So I think um, we'll just be doing fresh fruit and veg for the time being until we can eat through all of this food that we've got when squirrelling away. We are making our first stop for our adventure at Will's Bend uh, on the Murray which is a little free camp of wiki camps. Um, I'd say this place sees a fair bit of action. Um, the fire was still hot um, from probably the weekend, but given it's a, uh, a Monday and it's not school holidays or anything, there is uh, absolutely no one around. So I thought there might have been a beach here, but there is um, apparently up the other end. Um, but you've got to walk down there. There's bollards to stop people probably getting down there and doing doughies, which I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of doughy doing up here um, from the locals. So yeah, gonna have something to eat, sit around the campfire and enjoy our first night of our new lives.
So I learned something the other day that I didn't know. What do you call corrugations? Corrugations. What else did you call corrugations? Jada bars. Jada bars. Jada bars. Apparently it's a New Zealand thing. So there, that's a jada bar. Now I'm pretty sure you know, the rest of modern society call them corrugations, but jada bars. Jada bars. Anyway, we're off to Lake Boga. Boga. I was, I was trying to look up what the pronunciation was. Which is kind of, where it's actually Swan Hill, so I think we're going to spend a couple of days there um, and check out Swan Hill. Um, because that's apparently a bit touristy. Boga. Bo- it's Boga. 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 According to Wiki. Lake Boga. So we checked out, there's the caravan park there, but um, on the other side of the lake, there's two. Um, you've still got to pay, I think it's like 15 bucks a night, um, which is heaps cheaper than um, the caravan park. Um, and it's just self-contained, and you're obviously miles away from showers or anything, but we're pretty self-contained anyway. So, Lake Boga. Boga. Bogus. <laughs> wow. Married <laughs> someone who does boogers and... I don't know, I can't even remember what you called it again. Your speed walls. Speed. Jadabars. 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 Do you know, that could be like... It could be like a, a, a candy. You hungry? You ready for something to fill that gap? Get ready for a jar of bar! Swan Hill. Swan Hill. John Todd. Awesome. Go Swan Hill. Yeah. All right. Rock and roll. Tree. Family tree photo. Family tree photo. Looking up our nose. Family tree photo. Giant pig in Swan Hill. Swan Hill. It's 160 years old, my man. 160 years of figging. Are you ready? Yep. Steady. Go! Green, Green Lake? Green Lake. Green Lake. And this guy in front of us is Ken. He is an absolute legend. Um, it's full of water now and it's just gorgeous. So we're, we've moved on from the pub and we're staying here tonight. We've moved on from the pub and we're staying here tonight. And he's just uh, showing us through to one of the unpowered sites. It's apparently a bit tricky to get to, apparently, without uh, driving into the lake. So. We're following Ken, who's been on the road for 18 years, 15, 15 years, and he's a, just a top bloke. Well, that was a nice change of plans. Check it out. Green Lake, Green Lake, Blue Lake, Green Lake. Green Lake. Green Lake. Green Lake. Green Lake Regional Park. It's the um, first time it's been full. 
many, many years. Well, it's been full for about a year, but prior to that, it was just a big hole. So, got powered sites up to the right. 30 bucks for a family. We're in one of the unpowered sites. And, oh, it's probably about maybe 15 people here. If that, it's nice. So we'll still, yeah, we'll go back to the pub later. I'm gonna go for a swim, cool down, cause it's stinking hot. So here we are at Lake Tyrrell, which has actually got some water in it cause they've had all the rain here recently. Has it got water or is it just water? Yeah, no, that's, that's water. That's not a mirage. We thought it was a mirage before, but it's definitely water. Um, we're here uh, in November, mid-November. Um, and they're still working on the, the main viewing platform is um, kind of not really worth going to because they're doing some works on it which will be finished probably 2021 sometime uh, maybe mid 2021 not sure it's getting closed but it's closed off so we've just come around the corner to um, one of the access points and it's just magnificent Let's see if i can show you it's just beautiful It's just as far as the eye can see. It kind of looks like a mirage, sort of, but also. Do you mean if I make a footprint, that will happen? Yeah. Very salty. Kind of smells like the beach, but but not really. And when you walk, there's just crystallized salt all over the ground. So you're gonna go check out. There's a there's a cool little swing up here. So we'll sit on the swing and pull out the pull out the SLR and see if we can get some. Nice creative B roll. <laughs> oh, Charlie, watch out. Dance with me beneath the stars, moon like crashing on. Like salt. I don't know, can we bring it home? Mm, it needs washing and clarifying. How do you wash salt? Dissolve it in clean water and then. But hasn't it already it. just been dissolved in clean water? Mm, I don't know. I just feel like If you're in Victoria and you're heading up the northeast, sort of towards Mildura, you have to check out the uh, silo art. It is just beautiful and it's all the way up there's um just google maps it or just look on google um you'll be able to see all these amazing silos painted and they just look really cool it's an epic amount of work must have gone into that i just popped the drone up So that's it for this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it. First week on the road, How exciting. Um, next episode, uh, we're gonna be in Mildura, give you a bit of a sneak peek. We've been staying at this freaking amazing campsite. Um, just really close to town, super cheap. Um, boys have been catching fish, done carp, you know, still catching stuff, which is fun. Um, yeah, next episode will be uh, the Mildura, um, all around the area, uh, Mungo National Park, and then head across to the Darling River. Uh, it'll be absolutely awesome. Um, try and bring you episodes whenever we can. I'd love to say weekly, but um, <laughs> probably not going to happen. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.